everybody, today is day 35 of Lent and we are going through the Diary of St. Faustina. Today's entries cover from journal 1500 to journal entry 1589. After reading through and trying to decide what I should talk about from this little section, what really stuck out to me was more of a challenge that I challenged myself with after reading. So in entry 1509, uh, St. Faustina is talking about illness and how it is oftentimes lonely being sick because a lot of your friends seem to be gone. And then a little bit further down, she says, I wish to speak of one more thing that I have experienced. When God gives neither death nor health, and when this lasts for many years, people become accustomed to this and consider the person as not being ill. Then there begins a whole series of silent sufferings. Only God knows how many sacrifices this soul makes. I'm sure there's somebody that you can think of who you know has been ill for quite a long time where it's something that's a chronic condition and there's really nothing that they can do about it and they seem to just be going about their lives as any normal person would, but you know that they are in some suffering. And the people who come to my mind the most are the elderly, and maybe you have a grandparent or something like that who you know is in a lot of chronic pain, but they've been that way possibly for your whole entire life. And so you've grown accustomed to that, and so you consider them to be just as fine as everybody else, however, they themselves are still enduring a great deal of suffering. So for me, in reading this, it was a reminder that those are people we need to reach out to. And we don't have to spend every single day with them. We don't even have to spend most of our days with them. But from time to time, I think it is important to make an effort to spend a couple hours with those types of people or if they are coming to a family event and you usually get irritated because of the way they have to behave because of their illness, maybe take a few moments and give them mercy. You know, think, how can I extend mercy to this person? Despite the fact that sometimes a person's illness can be frustrating to us for whatever reason, it's undoubtedly more stressful and difficult for them. And sometimes they are still going through a great deal of suffering that they don't even vocalize to you because it's just such a part of their everyday life. So I think it's a good reminder to be not only sympathetic to the pain of others, but to have a heightened awareness of how we can be merciful to those where we tend to think, oh, well, yeah, they have that illness and it's never going to go away or, you know, they've had that for 10 years, so it's not a big deal. To them, it is a very big deal and there may be some silent sacrifices that they're making that we don't even know about. So for this reflection, that is my thought to think about those things and try to implement them in your life and relationships. If you like this video and would like to see the rest of my Vlent videos, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.